Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how I create a sun study using ARCHICAD. So this is a small house project that I'm working on right now and this rectangle here is a neighboring house. By making this sun study I want to make sure that I'm going to have enough light in my house considering that this neighboring house is on the south side of my uh, designed house. So even though this neighboring house is blocking a big chunk of my south light, I want to make sure that it's going to be enough. Okay, so what we're going to do in order to create our sun study is first of all check out everything in 3D. So select our marquee tool and draw out an area that we want to see in 3D. And then go to our 3D view by pressing F5. Okay, so this is the house that I'm designing right now, and this is the neighboring house. Uh, I've made some general measurements to make sure that the height of it is accurate and the general dimensions to make sure that my sun study is, a, is as accurate as possible. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a top view of uh, our project here. I'm going to go to 3D projection settings. I'm going to go to parallel projections. And I'm going to click here top view. Okay, so this is how the top view of our house and our, our neighboring house looks like. But the problem is that the north is not facing upward right now. So if we go to our 2D view, I'm going to remove my marquee. You can see here that I've rotated my plan so that the north is here on the right. So I'm going to click here just for the sake of this sun study so that we can see where our north is so I'm gonna go back to our 3D view and over here as well I'm gonna make sure that the north is gonna be facing upward so I'm gonna go to 3D projection settings and here you're gonna have to move these axes around so that you have here 0 degrees and here 90 degrees and this way your north is going to be facing upward okay and now we can see that in 3d view and our 2d view the positions are the same now what we're going to do is i'm going to actually zoom a little in a little bit and maybe i'm going to draw another marquee so that the area that we're going to create the sun study on will be bigger so I'm just going to draw out my marquee a little bit bigger than before. Okay, so this way we have more ground. Make sure before you do your sun study that you have a slab put in place instead of your ground, because if you don't, then the shadows will not be visible. Okay, so speaking of shadows, we're going to have to activate them. As you can see, in my case, right now they are deactivated. So I'm going to go to 3D window settings and make sure you check here your sun shadows option. If your shadows are not visible you have to go back to your 3D projection settings and change here the sun altitude. Maybe put it to 30 degrees and now you can see your sun shadows. Okay once you've did all that you have to go to document, creating imaging, create sun study. And over here you have to just input what kind of sun study you want. So I want uh, from sunrise to sunset. I'm gonna leave here 3D window. I'm gonna want to see all of the frames and I would not like to have a movie but instead I would like to have JPEG files and I'm just gonna leave here the color option. Then I'm gonna click save and I'm just gonna create on my desktop a new folder. I'm just gonna select this new folder and click OK. And now my sun study is being generated. Okay, so our sun study was generated, now we can go and look at the images. Okay, so these are the images, if we flip through them, we can see exactly how our sun is moving. Okay, so now that you have your uh, sun study images generated, what you can do a step further is to actually place them in ARCHICAD, and I'm going to show you a really nice technique to show the conclusions of your sun study in a more effective way than just flipping through the images. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on File, External Contact Place, External Drawing and I'm gonna actually select all of these images and I'm gonna click on Open. Now if you look at the origin of your project you should have all your images over here. I'm just gonna move them closer to my actual design and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually select your fill tool I'm gonna have my 25% fill type selected I'm gonna select here maybe a color blue and for the background I'm gonna have this transparent pen so for the first image we can see an actual shadow I'm just gonna delete it and for the next one I'm just gonna trace the shadow that I see here on the floor plan. So starting here, I'm just gonna go in general not lines. I'm not gonna actually trace all the little things visible over there. This shadow is actually extending way beyond our area, but that's not really important. So I'm just gonna keep tracing the shadow here. And once I've traced my first shadow, I'm just going to delete the top image. I'm going to move the shadow in, in the right place over the drawing below. So like so. I'm gonna, and now I'm gon just going to bring this top image to the front so I don't see the shadow that we drew before. So select the display order, bring to front. And I'm going to trace this other shadow again in general lines you don't have to be very tedious about it I'm just gonna keep doing this for all the rest of the images so I'm just gonna go through the whole process again with you after I'm done with this so you trace with the sh you trace the shadow it is generated below but we can't see it because we have this image on the front so if we delete it we can see the two shadows that we've traced so far. We can move them so they're in the right position again over the image. This last image I'm gonna bring to front. Once again, trace the shadow. Okay, so as you can see, these are the all of the shadows that were generated by ARCHICAD stacked on top of each other. So I can see that the shadow from this house, this big neighboring house, isn't really affecting me at all. Because I have plenty of sunlight uh, during the day over here and over here. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any requests, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!